Hey everyone and welcome back to Coco's Cosmology. In today's reading, we are going to be doing a reading for our Pisces. All right, this reading is for our Pisces sun, moon, and rising signs for the week of December 6th through December 12th. You guys can expect these videos for all water signs for Mondays. Every single Monday, we should have weekly readings for the water signs. All right, so let's get into it. All right. What is going on for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of December 6th through December 12th? What can they expect? And what should they look out for? And what energy surrounds them. Alright, quick disclaimer, I'm going to shuffle out seven cards for each day of the week. Um, and the disclaimer is for some of you guys, this is going to happen in chronological order. And for the rest of you guys, this is going to happen sporadically throughout the week. Just take what resonates with you. Alright, so let's get into it. What's going on with my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of December 6th through December 12th? Okay, so we have the King of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Ooh. Can I get four more cards for my Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. Okay. Ace of Wands. Okay. Okay. I see y'all. <laughs> I'm happy already. All right. Can we get three more cards for my Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising Sun. Okay, okay. We've got Temperance. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, we need one more card. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups to end the week off with. Back of deck energy is no other than the emperor. Okay, so now with this emperor energy, this week you're going to be very responsible. People are going to rely on you mainly. Um, pay attention to your father figure or anybody that is a father figure to you. Um, that is a major arcana card. So with that being said, we have three major arcana cards playing a big part in your week from December 6th to December excuse me all right to december 12th all right all right let's get into it so with this king of cups energy being in reverse this energy is about you may be feeling a little bit ashamed or insecure during the beginning of this week something may occur um the week before that may be making you feel a little bit sad and you're going to be reflecting on it i feel like you're going to be reflecting on it at least two or three times during the week or it just may be happening sporadically throughout the week because I see that Ten of Swords energy and the Four of Cups energy, okay? And that's all about, you know, somebody maybe betraying you or backstabbing you. Um, and that's coming up with this King of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Swords being upright. So pay attention to the people who are around you um, and also, you know, take a take um, advice from the elders in your family someone who is like a father figure to you or someone you look up to as a father um, it may could be a mother as well but they may be giving you some very insightful advice um, during this week okay 
All right, let's tap in. So you have some good energy surrounding you. I feel like Pisces, the energy that I'm getting from you guys, you have a lot of good things going for you. You have so much potential. You have so many things that um, you love to do and that you want to do. And with this Ace of Pentacles energy, um, it's about prosperity and it's about you being a perfectionist. You're trying to get things done in a timely manner and you're trying to get things to be done in the way that you would like for it to be done during this week. Now, you may have some people in your corner that are not trustworthy or it just may be some people um, jealous around you. I'm feeling like there's some type of jealousy surrounding you um, during this week that is going to cause for you to talk to someone older than you to give you advice on how to handle this situation you have the high priestess now with the high priestess energy that means follow your intuition this week and i feel like that is literally screaming to you um pisces you know who is good for you you know who has your back you know who brings you balance in your life and you may need some reassurance for someone who is wise you do have the temperance card here which is about balance as well but we'll talk more about it when we get there all right, so with this Ace of Wands energy, okay, this is about being creative and being driven to start new projects and start new things. Um, you know, just go on a new journey in your life. And with this Ace of Wands energy, the people that may be trying to backstab you or just maybe one person um, trying to backstab you, Pisces, and watch out for that Um energy because they may not like that you're leveling up that you're doing better that you're growing Pisces you're in your prime you're getting things done at this moment they see so much success for you and they may be trying to throw dirt on your name but the spirit said no you have temperance you have so much balance and you have so much creativity going for you okay this temperance card is about healing all right so you've already healed or you're on the path to healing from things that don't bring you happiness things that don't bring you balance into your life you're already on that healing road okay and they see that you're being very creative a lot of you guys draw a lot of you guys sing a lot of you guys dance and whatever it is that you're creative with that I may have not mentioned okay those things are probably coming into fruition you're reaching and you're seeing your abundance and they can see it as well so they may be trying to talk you out of something so pay attention to those um, people in your life or you know that just may come up and try to voice their opinion on what they don't want you to do this week all right you guys have the ten of swords and you have the four of cups now with the ten of swords energy like we were saying this is about somebody maybe betraying you or backstabbing you but also it's a great time for you to release that energy so at some point during this week it'll be a great time for you guys to take a spiritual bath cleanse yourself um detox um get a juicer juice your juices however it is or self pamper yourself to help release any type of negative energy and then with this four of cups energy you know it'll be a great time for you to get some rest at some point this week so pay attention to that all right you guys we're going to get into the numerology cards <clears throat> the numerology cards are going to allow us to see what you should focus on during the week of December 6th through December 12th. All right. So what should my Pisces sun, moon, rising signs focus on for the week of December 6th through December 12th? We have individuality. Wow. I most definitely see individuality here. You know, you owning up to your own things that you want to do you branching out starting new projects with this ace of wands energy being creative being ambitious all right we have number 44 environment um going outside meditating outside changing things well you have number five change um as well changing the people that are in your environment that are not good for you all right so those are the three cards that you guys have for this week for december 6th through the 12th all right 
So we're going to get into the moon allergy cards and we're going to see what energies are surrounding you guys for the week of December 6th through December 12th. All right. What energies are surrounding my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of December 6th through December 12th? We have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon, and cancer. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And then we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. And let's get one more card for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So a lot of you guys may have Cancer, Sagittarius, and Capricorn supporting you during this time or during this week. All right, we're going to pull some astrology cards as well to see what other energies are surrounding you guys um, during December 6th through December 12th. All right, so the first card we have is Neptune, which is your energy, Pisces energy, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. We have Leo energy. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. And last but not least, we have Venus, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. And that is Taurus and Libra energy. All right, you guys, we're going to get into the Starseed Oracle cards to see what messages you guys get from spirit for the week of december 6th through december 12th the first card that we have is star family you are part of a team of souls call in support so it'll be great for you to get in tune with your spirituality when you tap into that ten of swords energy when it's time for you to release all right you have called soul gifts and training it's time to step up wow some of you guys are um, light workers all right and then we have earth learning how to be human in the world but not of it all right i hope you guys enjoyed this weekly reading please give it a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload and i will see you beautiful lovelies in my next reading bye